Today we'll be doing a review and unboxing of the uh, Alpha Outpost Kraken, which also happens to be the name of a pretty delicious rum. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Uh, Bug out back here. So today we're going to be talking about the Alpha Outpost. Uh, if you have not heard of Alpha Outpost or if you haven't had a chance to check them out, definitely check them out. Look on alphaoutpost.com. Uh, check their social media. Great group of guys and gals um, I've had the pleasure of working with recently. So uh, very thrilled. It's, if you don't know, it's a monthly subscription service. Now I know you're saying to yourself, oh my god, there's all these monthly subscription services. Why should I give a crap about these guys? The reason I personally like Alpha Outpost above the others is be for a couple different reasons. For one, they give you more real life scenario stuff. Uh, so a lot of them will, uh, some of the other ones that I've actually even worked with, they give you little gadgets here and there that are cute. Uh, but not necessarily things that you might use on an everyday basis, put in your EDC, use in a survival situation. But for me, what really sets Alpha Outpost a, a apart is the fact that they also give you training. Uh, I'll kind of show you a little bit of this, but I'll, you can give somebody tools all day long. And as you might have saw in one of my other videos where I even mentioned, like you can have all the tools in the world, you can have all the uh, food stockpiles, but if you don't know how to use it, if you don't have the right training, um, then it's not going to do you any good, right? Uh, you can own a race car, but if you don't know how to actually operate a race car, it ain't going to do you any good. So I like the fact um, that one of the things they do here is they give you a book in each one, and rather than just telling you, here's a list of the items you get, they tell you, here's a list of the items you get, here's contents for the book as far as how we're going to do the training. Uh, they put some of the training here in like a little comic uh, strip, which is kind of cute, but it tells you different things uh, of how to use different items. Um, so I, I, this one is uh, obviously it's a, a fishing. I know fishing is not necessarily, unless you're a competitive fisher, it's not a super hard skill, uh, but it is something that definitely takes a little bit of know-how and a lot of patience. So it's cool that they will teach you in here some of the know-how, uh, finding you know bait, finding your night crawlers, setting the hook. Um, I just, I, I love the fact that they give you much more than just, here's some stuff, have fun, because Alpha Outpost, what sets them apart is they want to educate people, right? Um, kind of going along with the whole Kraken theme, uh, you can teach a man to fish, uh, sorry, you can, you can give a man a fish, feed him for a day, you can teach a man to fish, you feed them for a lifetime. It's literally the same thing with all their boxes. They want to give you not just the items, but the skills to know what to do with the items. Uh, so enough blabbing, let's get into the box and kind of just go over some of this information of what is available. So we're going to get a couple of little things out of the way here first. Um, one of the first things they do each time is that they give you a pretty cool patch. Um, it's a Velcro uh, patch. So it's really, I guess, more of a collector's thing, but I think it's cool. I mean, it's a neat color. Uh, if you have like a favorite fishing shirt that has the Velcro and you want to put that on somewhere, uh, if you have a hat that has the Velcro and you want to put it on there, you can do that. Um, if nothing else, you know, just to have like a cool collector series of different patches, there's a lot of people that uh, do patch trading. So that'd be one to kind of throw in your arsenal. And they give you one for every theme of their boxes. Um, I actually missed out on some of the cool ones that I want to see about getting. You can actually purchase them on their website, the past boxes as well. Um, but it's it's cool that they give you stuff like that. Another thing that I mean I say is a little thing I just want to kind of go over because there's not much to talk about it. Uh, but they give you the uh, four pound, 150 yards monofilament, uh, basically your fishing line. This is imperative. I, I think you guys have probably already seen in my current bug out bag and even in my car bug out bag. I put together a long time ago my own little fishing kit. Uh, with just some of the basics you want, your, you know, your filament, your hooks, your sinkers, your lures, all that good stuff. Um, you can make a rod out of damn near anything, um, you know, a stick, a Coke bottle. So having good fishing line, though, is going to make or break you. You can use strands of paracord, but it's a pain in the ass, if, especially if you already have something on a spool, just ready to go in your bug out bag. If this is too bulky for you and you don't want to carry it like this, you can obviously wrap it around something else. Um, I like to actually wrap them around a small strip of duct tape. So now I also have some duct tape and then I have something to hold my uh, fishing line on. So pretty sweet to give you that. 
essentials for any fishing kit. We've got here the Alpha Outpost, uh, your sinkers, your hooks, and you get a variety. Look at the different size hooks you get in here. I'll admit, my current fishing kit, I think I have like three sizes, and because I was trying to put everything in a small space, I, I have pretty small hooks, which are not going to be good for every type of fish out there, um, depending on your situation of where you are. Now, you obviously can use this if you're just fishing for fun, if you just like to fish, you're an avid fisherman, cool, um, but I do strongly suggest for everyone to have some type of fishing gear, especially if you live near any kind of body of water uh, or you may be traveling somewhere in a bug out scenario where you need to fish because as long as the water is not toxic fish is going to be excellent food uh, it does take some patience um, I probably would also invest in the net uh, but it, it definitely will help so it's cool they give you like I said variety of hooks variety of sinkers so you should be set depending on pretty much dang or anything you need to catch other than sharks continuing with catching things we've got here we got some rubber lures. They're not lures. I don't know why I can't think of the name right now. But you've got your uh, basically your grubs. Um, so that's obviously going to help out uh, if you don't have any live bait to use. If you have live bait, I would suggest to do that first. Um, but if you do not, this is a great way to at least hopefully catch decent sized fish. If you want to go bigger, or if you're doing this for fun or for competitive reasons, they also give you. These two are lures. Look at these guys. Look at these fancy ass nice lures. So those things are beautiful. Um, I'll take one of them out here for us. So look at this guy. You are getting two different versions of these. You're getting legit lures. So, I mean, these things are not cheap to buy in the store as it is. And I'll admit, I don't have anything this nice. I'm, I'm not, I like fishing. I like fishing as a pastime, but the only real fishing stuff I have is in my bug out bag and I don't have anything this nice. I have some very basic, like the, the rubber ones that we saw before. So get two of these, two different ones. I don't know why I got as excited as I did when I saw this, but I just, I, I think it's cool. They give you a fisherman's buff, fisherman's buff. I mean, you can use this for all sorts of different things. Um, you can use it to kind of help with water filtration if you needed to, but uh, if you don't know what a buff is, um, it's got a ton of different uses. I, I don't know if I have the, I'll make a video later showing the different ways to, to wear buffs and use buffs, but you know, you've got your basic, get your, your head protected from the elements. So too damn sunny, too much, too many bugs going on here. You can, you know, tuck this in the back, make like a bandana. Uh, you can roll it over, make just a headband if you didn't want the top of your head being too hot. Now you're in the uh, Kraken MC. Uh, you can pull it over your face if you're robbing somebody. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but you know, you can, there's ways you can actually form it into a, a like a baklava um, or shamag. I'll show you guys how to do that later, but it, it's got a ton of different uses. If you're fishing, especially if you're fishing somewhere where there might be still water, uh, or just a ton of bugs in general, you know, kind of helps get some of those elements out of your face. Um, growing a little bit of a beard, but it still covers the beard. I think even if you have a pretty substantial beard, you should be okay. Um, you know, or just wear it as a damn scarf. Um, I've seen chicks turn it into to tube tops before, so uh, I don't know if this one is quite that big and stretchy, but uh, a ton of different uses. So I was just thrilled. I've been wanting to get a buff for a while to keep in my bug out bag, and I, I don't have an excuse of why I haven't. So now I have this, this cool ass one that says Kraken on it. Like, look at that. I don't know. I was excited about it. So the next item, I admit, I thought it was a little silly at first when I when I first opened it, because I was like, why? But now when I think about it, a little bit more broad spectrum makes sense. So you get here a, uh, a scale, digital scale, weight scale, right? So, and it comes with batteries in it, which is pretty sweet, or separate, you can put them in, but it comes with batteries. Uh, so yeah, so if you're fishing, you're an avid fisherman, you're doing competitive fishing, you're having a bet with friends, whatever, uh, you, can, you can weigh your fish. And then it's got a tape measure on the side here, so you can measure your fish uh, or your kraken if you happen to find one. So, kind of a neat idea. Like, I won't obviously keep this in my bug out bag, um, but this again wasn't necessarily designed specifically for bug out scenarios. It was designed for fishing. So, whether that's fishing from your bug out bag or fishing just because you like to fish a lot. So, it was kind of a neat little idea that they gave you the, uh, the scale. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll use it and see how much I suck at fishing. All right, so now we have 
a fillet knife. All right, pretty damn sharp. Um, I, I don't have any issues with it. The I don't know what the steel is actually made out of. It doesn't say anywhere. Um, it you know it's a fillet knife. It's not a tactical knife. It's, it doesn't have to be the the super top line, most sturdy thing in the world. Um, but this will definitely do the job. You've got your your serration up here. Uh, you've got your line cutter here. Um, at first I thought it was for gutting, but I don't see a practical way that this would would gut. Um, plus you already have your your fillet, so need to scale a fish, gut a fish, fillet a fish, everything you need here. The only, oh, and it, by the way, it feels fantastic in the grip, and as you see here, it's got holes. You can put some paracord, um, so it's a, it's a very good knife. comes with this cool uh, sheath. My only real gripe about it that I wasn't thrilled with is that there's no way to clip it, uh, so you can't clip it to your bag, you can't clip it to your pants. Um, not a huge deal because if you're going to be using this for a fishing situation where you're going to be, you know, gutting and scaling fish, you probably already have some type of a bag, whether it's a bug out bag or whether it's a fishing kit, tackle box, whatever. So just sitting this inside there is probably not a huge deal. I just personally like when I can clip stuff on, especially if you use this, then you have to wash it off. Now you want to let it dry. I like to be able to clip something to my bug out bag or somewhere and let it dry off. Uh, but that's just me being nitpicky. It's a fantastic knife. I just wish they had a some sort of a, a clip on it somewhere. But I don't think most fillet knives do anyways. I think I'm thinking too much of tactical knives. And last but definitely not least is the uh, Alpha Outpost. Oh, I'm sorry. Got dug into a little bit because I got excited. Um, it's a little collapsible, little come apart fishing rod. Like how cool is that, right? Um, again, you could easily find places in this for your bug out bag uh, or just keep it in your vehicle somewhere um, as a backup if you forget your main fishing rod. But this thing is awesome. Look at this. Look at this little, and, and hey, it has a clip since I'm so damn picky and I like clips. Um, so I have not yet tried to put this together. So let's see how dummy proof it is because I'm a pretty big dummy. So let's see how easy this is to put together. Luckily, it comes with instructions on the back. So, it is dummy proof. Alright, I think I got it mostly together, and hey, that's actually, it's not a bad length once this thing fully extends. Look at this crap. Like, that's that's way better than anything I had in my bug out bag. Well, hell, this is this is better than anything I currently own for a fishing rod. As I said, I'm not a, not a huge fisher. But hey, I was just thrilled that this is pretty dang easy to put together. Um, you just have to have a little bit of intelligence, which I happen to have a little bit of intelligence. Um, but I love that it, it, it came, all the moving parts were, came already lubricated. It already comes with some line on it. It's collapsible. So it's pretty dang neat. Like, if whether, like, would you, if you're an avid fisherman, would you probably want to use this all the time? No. But if you're somebody like me who might only need it for when I'm actually trying to catch some fish, like, this is, this is pretty awesome. I have to say kudos to them because that's more than what I was expecting um, and, I, and I just found out I didn't have it fully extended look at this crap that's I can't even get this fully in frame here now, now it's like a fencing sword okay now I'm just getting silly but no that's uh, pretty damn awesome that they gave you a fishing rod uh, to go with everything for your fishing kit so again um, I think I covered everything here uh, I would just say, if you have not checked Alpha Outpost yet, they are very different than most of the subscription boxes because of the fact, again, they give you the training, they give you realistic tools, um, they give you some fun stuff, obviously, you know, that scale, that might not be 100% necessary, uh, but for the money's worth, and I, and I can't remember, I'll have to post in the description the, the price, I know that they're a little pricier than some of the other boxes out there, um, but again, you've got a, a whole team of experts that are writing this information for you, giving you the advice. Um, you're getting stuff that's going to be realistic to use. So I couldn't be more happy with Alpha Outpost. Um, so please, you know, guys, go check them out. And then do me a solid. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Comment. Hate mail. Whatever you want to do. Uh, but guys, thanks so much for watching this video. More to come soon. And uh, more non-subscription boxes. More tactical info. 
uh, more survival techniques. Guys, I, I want to do a Q&A. Send me your questions so I can do a Q&A. Alright guys, I've rambled enough. Back out.